Hati Tibe, Hotsaki, brothers and sisters, good morning. Uh, isang magandang umaga sa bawat isa, sa mga kapatid nating kasama natin ngayon na sumasamba, at sa mga kapatid nating nanonood ngayon sa internet, uh, upang damayan tayo sa ating pagsamba ngayong umaga. Sa ating pagtitipon ngayong umaga, inanyayahan po ang lahat na ihanda ang ating puso at ang ating isipan sa pagsamba sa Espiritu at sa katotohanan para sa Diyos. Panahon na upang magsama-sama muli kabilang ng iisang katawan, itaas natin ang ating mga tinig bilang papuri at pagsamba. Pagnilayan natin ang kabutihan ng Diyos, ang Kanyang walang hanggang pag-ibig. At ang hindi mabilang na mga pagpapala na ipinagkaloob niya sa bawat isa. Sa pagpasok natin dito sa sangtwaryo ng Diyos, Naway gawin natin ito ng may pagpapipitagan at kagalakan handang maranasan ang kanyang presensya sa atin. Nice kong i-share ang isang verse from Psalm 118. No? Hindi natin masyadong kilala kung sino nag-akda nito pero marami ang nagsasabi si David ang nagsulat. Ito'y kanyang isinulat bilang awit sa pagtatag ng ikalawang templo ng Israel. Dito... May pitong bagay siyang ipinahayag. No? Una, God is good. Pangalawa, His love endures forever. Pangatlo, siya daw ang kanyang helper. Siya rin diyan ang kanyang refuge, pinagtataguan. Siya rin ang kanyang defense, ang kanyang strength, ang kanyang kalakasan. At sa dami ng ginawa ng Diyos, sa dami ng magaganda na kanyang ginawa. Sabi niya, hindi pa ako handang mamatay kasi kailangan ko ipahayag ang kanyang kabutihan. Uh, higit sa lahat, sabi niya, ang Diyos ang kanyang salvation. Basahin natin muli ang ilang mga verses bilang paghanda sa ating dasal. So, sa Psalm 118 verse 1, sabi niya, Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. Sa so seven, sabi niya, The Lord is with me. He is my helper. I look in triumph on my enemies. Sa so fifteen, sabi niya, Shout of joy and victory resound in the tents of the righteous. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. Sa so twenty-one, sabi niya, I will give thanks for you answered me. You have become my salvation. At sa 24, sabi niya, The Lord has done this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, and His love endures forever. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, We give thanks to you. We give praises to you. For you are good and your love endures forever. Let our church and everyone here declare the faithfulness of your goodness and love. Father, we come before you in humility and ask for your grace and mercy. And though we go through trials every day, your love, your mercy, they follow us. And because of this, we will not be afraid. For you, O Lord, are with us. You are our helper, our ever-present help in time of need. We look to you for refuge. Though we go through trials, sickness, and battle problems time and again, only to fail and fall, we know you are there to pick us up each and every time. In those moments when we are crying, you are there to wipe away our tears. In those moments where we are full of wounds, you are mighty physicians who are there to heal us from our pains. You are there to encourage us and guide us. You, O oh Lord, are our strength and our protection. You are our salvation. And because of this, we shout for joy and victory with all believers. For your right hand, they continue to do mighty deeds. 
and we will be your witness towards your faithfulness as we declare your goodness in our life. We cry and moan in many sufferings we experience. This is because of our indiscretion, because of our sins that we do against you. Yet with confidence and all humility, we come before your throne and ask for mercy. For we know that you are a God of second chances. And you continue to forgive even though we easily forget your mercies. We ask for your forgiveness. And we pray to be changed toward becoming more like Christ. And as we gather here in your sanctuary to be among your children, we declare your goodness that it might be established in our hearts and in the deeds that we do. Use us mightily to honor your name. We pray for wisdom and guidance for our leaders in UEC Santa Cruz as they lead us towards discipleship, one that has been commanded by Jesus Christ to us. Lead us towards doing what is good that we might disciple all that are lost for your kingdom. We pray for our leaders in the community that they may become servants who will put others above themselves, that they might set aside their petty quarrel and unite and sacrifice towards healing this nation and to put you above everything else. We pray for protection against principalities that may hinder your ministry as we go on this fight, your battle that you have already won 2,000 years ago. And we pray that you open up opportunities to allow your church to be a light in this darkened world. And today, as we gather once more to celebrate your name, guide your servant as he preached forward your word. Let the word ring true in our heart and as we listen, as we try to understand, put in us an obedient heart so that we may not just say it, but do it. As we continue and honor you through our worship, may your name be praised and may your name be honored today. For to you belong all glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Morning po! Yan. Napakaganda ng umaga natin, no? Pwede ko bang tawagin ng bawat isa ta tumayo? Uh, at um, as we read from Psalm 107, verse 1 to 3, our call for worship. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord tell their stories, those who redeem from the hands of the foe. Those who He gathered from the lands, from the east and west, and from the north and south. Purihin si Yahweh sa kanyang kabutihan. Pag-ibig niya'y tunay, laging tapat kailanman. Lahat ng niligtas, tinubos ni Yahweh, bayaang magpuri mga tinulungan upang sa beman sila'y magwagi. Sa sariling bayan sila'y tinipot pinagsama-sama silangat kanduran timog at hilaga ay doon kinuha. Sa Chinese naman, no? Din tiyo cheng siya yahwa inwi i punwi siyan i etu ay yang wan tiyong tsun guan yahwa e siokpin kong si Sige uwe, siu si i tui tiok din chiu tiong siok kiu siok e tui tak so zai tui tak tui sai tui lam tui pak so chiu chiu lai e Would you join us as we sing praise songs of praise to our one true God? Praise. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Maari po bang batiin natin ang ating mga katabi ng isang magandang umaga? Magandang umaga. Magandang umaga. Ayan. Di po ba napakasarap 
magbigay papuri sa ating Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng pag-awit. Yung parang ang pakiramdam mo, yung para kang nasa langit. Di po ba? At ganyan na ganyan nga po ang ating gagawin sa buhay na walang hanggan. Kaya naman, habang tayo'y naririto pa, e eh mag-insayo na tayo at magpakadalubhasa sa pag-awit sa kanyang pangalan. Amen? Um, meron man po tayong mga balitang hindi maganda, mga delubyo ng pagsabog ng bulkan o ang patuloy na pag-init ng ating kapaligiran. Hindi po tayo matitinag sa ating pag-alab, sa pag-init sa ating Panginoon. Amen? Kaya po ang lahat ng sumasang ayon sa akin, sumigaw po tayo ng isang malakas na hallelujah sa kanyang pangalan. Yung mas malakas pa! Yung pinakamalakas pa! lupa ang kapiling si Jesus. Amen po ba? Amen. Pero ang ating buhay ay hindi lamang po panay saya sa pagsamba. Napakahalaga nung pagsunod sa kanyang salita. The greatest commandment is a two-in-one thing. The Lord said that if we say that we love Him, who we cannot see, and yet we fail to love our neighbor who we see every day, then 
we would be liars. Jesus said that whatever we do to the least of our brothers, we do unto him. So in our worship this morning, shall we bless the person beside us, in front of us, and those behind us? And in so doing, honor our Lord Jesus.
for blessing all of us. Thank you for allowing us to share one another's love, joy, and sorrows. Father, as we worship you on, we pray for Christ's likeness to dwell in us. Change us from glory to glory, according in your love and leading. You call me Lord, and I will bow my knees. I lift my voice to sing, that you're my King. Come i 
nation. We lift your name to the highest. We submit to your sovereignty. Enable us to live out your word. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray, and all the people of God will say, Amen. 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 You may now take your seats. Once more, I want to with, uh, greet you. Good morning. Welcome to UEC Santa Cruz. It's truly a joy to be among believers, to sing praises to His name, to glorify Him as our one true Savior. Um, would you join me as we read from His Word, from which our message will be coming from? Let's read from Exodus chapter 16, verse 1 to 21. The whole Israelite community set out from Elim and came to the desert of Sin, which is between Elim and Sinai, on the 15th day of the second month after they had come up of Egypt. In the desert, the whole community grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The Israelites said to them, if only we had died by the Lord's hand in Egypt, there we sat around pots of meat and ate all the food we wanted. But you have brought us out into this desert to starve this entire assembly to death. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will rain down bread from heaven for you. The people are to go out each day and gather enough for that day. And this way I will test them and see whether they will follow my instructions. And on the sixth day, they are to prepare what they bring in, that is to be twice as much as they gather on the other days. So Moses and Aaron said to all the Israelites, In the evening, you will know that it was the Lord who brought, out, brought you out of Egypt. And in the morning, you will see the glory of the Lord, because He has heard your grumbling against Him. Who are we? that you should grumble against us. Moses also said, You will know that it was the Lord when He gives you meat to eat in the evening and all the bread you want in the morning because He has heard your grumbling against Him. Who are we? You are not grumbling against us, but against the Lord. Then Moses told Aaron, Say to the entire Israelites' community, Come before the Lord, for he has heard your grumbling. When Aaron was speaking to the whole Israelite community, they looked towards the desert, and there was the glory of the Lord appearing in the cloud. The Lord said to Moses, I have heard the grumbling of the Israelites. Tell them, at twilight you will eat meat, and in the morning you will be filled with bread. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. That evening, quail came and covered the camp, and in the morning, there was a layer of dew around the camp. When the dew was gone, thin flakes like frost on the ground appeared on the desert floor. When the Israelites saw it, they said to each other, What is it? For they did not know what it was. Moses said to them, It is the bread the Lord has given you to eat. This is what the Lord has commanded. Everyone is to gather as much as they need. Take an armor for each person you have in your tent. The Israelites did as they were told. Some gathered much, some little. And when they measured it by the armor, the one who gathered much did not have too much, and the one who gathered little did not have too little. Everyone has gathered just as much as they needed. Then Moses said to them, no one is to keep any of it until morning. However, some of them paid no attention to Moses. They keep part of it until morning. But it was full of maggots and began to smell. So Moses was angry with them. Each morning, everyone gathers as much as they needed. And when the sun grew hot, it melted away. God bless us with the reading of his words. So once more today, we are blessed to be among fellow believers to listen to God's words as He delivered His messenger today. 
Uh, let me introduce him once again, especially today, mas special kasama niya kasi yung family niya. So, he is a graduate of Brang, uh, De La Salle University and also of Biblical Seminary of the Philippines. Currently, he is the uh, uh, tawag natin, uh, pastor of the school. No? And then, uh, he has been a, a pastor for more than 20 years, tama? More than, yeah. And he's right now with, uh, with his uh, wife, Jan Loris. Yeah. Could you stand so that we might be able to? Yeah. And with uh, three of the children. So let me guess. Uh, is Jacob here? No. So Josiah, can you stand? Yeah. And then Jethro. And Joas. Yeah, and so welcome po to UEC Centros and especially to all our guests who came to worship with us. So let me introduce our speaker for the day, Reverend William Jonathan Ong. Uh, good morning, everyone. So it's a uh, blessing no, to be here. Truly, you know, um, uh, I'm happy you know, to be here. Actually, I, uh, I, I said you know, in the car coming here, I told my family, uh, serious ang message today. You know, kasi nandito yung asawa ko. You know, so my wife is here, so I will choose to be very serious. And no jokes, just straight to the point so that I can go home uh, peacefully later. <laughs> okay. But of course, I also thank uh, si Brother Pando no, for um, driving us again here uh, today. No, so, <clears throat> uh, trusting in God's provision. No? I think this is um, something that we, we can all learn from, that in life, um, the Lord does provide for us the things that we need, but sometimes uh, we like to complain. No, I don't know about you. If you are a complainer or you are a person who is grateful in life. But today, the message will be on um, more of a self-examination on yourself. No? Are you a person who likes to grumble or are you a person who likes to give thanks to the Lord? Okay? Ikaw na lang, hindi ko dala yung anak nandyan eh. Okay? So, um, uh, next slide, no? Yeah, so being grateful is a choice we can all make. You know, being grateful is a choice we can all make. Um, ako, no, when I was growing up, I was a complainer. You know, I, I told you when I was young, I, I'm, I was a young scout. No? Ang teacher namin, si Sir Ariel, saka si Sir Edgin. Okay, pero mas kinukulit ko si Sir Edgin. Kasi Sir Ariel, medyo serious yan dati. So, si Sir Edgin, kinukulit ko siya palagi. I have many questions, no? Talong ako ng talong. Hanggang one time, napikon na yata sa akin. Eh, hindi rin nagagalit yun. Parang si Aya Ariel, hindi nagagalit yan mga yan. Sabi ni Aya Edgin sa akin, ba't ang dami mong reklamo? No? Pwede ba? Okay, magpasalamat ka na lang kung ano meron ka. Nasyak ako. Kasi 12 years old lang ako <laughs> No? Lo nagalit siya sa akin. Pero that left an impact sa utak ko. Sabi ko nga eh, sabi ko nga no, bakit ba mahilig ako mag-complain? You know? So maybe I have to change my mindset. Instead of complaining, start to be more grateful of what I have. Okay? So today's message is about trusting in God's provision. So what is the problem of the Israelites here in Exodus chapter 16, 1 to 3? So let's uh, read the verse again. Sabi niya, on the 15th day of the second month, after they had departed from the land of Egypt, next slide, it says, And the whole congregation of the people of Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. And the people of Israel said to them, What? that we had died by the hand uh, of the Lord in the land of Egypt. Next slide. 
And when we sat by the meat pots and ate bread to the full, for you have brought us out into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. No? So um, the people no, uh, reached a part of the wilderness called uh, Sin, okay, which might be a shortcut for Sinai. And on the 15th day of the second month, meant they were about 45 days away from the Red Sea moment. And yet, they, and yet here, no, they are grumbling against Moses and Aaron. They are asking, why did you bring us out you know, only to um, let us die from hunger? So what was the problem of the Israelites? You see, in chapter 15, uh, they were so thirsty, okay? Uh, they were complaining, so God gave them water. From bitter, naging sweet sa chapter 15 niyan, Exodus. Now, in chapter 16, they were hungry. Okay? And alam mo, ang tao pag gutom, di ba? Talagang nagko-complain. Di ba? Do you have, you know, when we were coming here, no? Uh, we stopped by the first McDo. Ewan ko saan yung unang McDo na we stopped over. Ang daming tao. Sobrang daming tao. So, I said to my kids, let's move on to the next McDo. Hindi natuwa yung bunso ko. Ganun siya. No? He wanted to eat na. Pero punong-puno. Sabi ko, malilate tayo. Malilate tayo dito. Okay, patay tayo. Malilate tayo. Hindi pa naman ako masyado nalilate dito. Okay, sabi ko, hindi tayo. Okay, pero nalate pa rin kami. Ha? Sorry talaga. Okay. <laughs> okay, pero, you know, um, ganun tayo. No? If we're hungry, we grumble. No, I don't know about you. Ako din, when I come home, tapos walang pagkain, minsan nag-grumble ako. Ano ba yan? Wala pang pagkain. No, di ba? So, uh, can you imagine, no? Um, the Israelites, they were slaves, but they had eat all you can when they were slaves. So, imagine, um, they were brought out. Okay, they're free na ngayon, pero walang makain. Diba? Walang makain. Okay? Do you know, estimate, according to Bible scholars, ha, gaano karami yung nilabas sa Egypt? Do you know? It's around 2 million people. 2 million. Diba? Yung family mo nga, apat na boys lang, hirap na pakainin eh. Diba? Diba? Kayo, you have three boys, minsan two boys, or whatever children you have. Minsan paglalabas kayo, diba? Gastos naman nito. Diba? Diba? Angel's Burger na lang tayo muna. Diba? So, mang inasal na lang, eat all you can. Diba? So, imagine si Moses and Aaron, ang karga niya, 2 million na tao. Paano mo papakainin ang 2 million na tao? Impossible, diba? Impossible. So, we grumble, no? Uh, a lot of us, we grumble about every, everything. And grumbling actually is a sign of what? It's a sign of discontent. It's a sign of uh, selfishness and also a sign of being ungrateful. Now, have you ever met people who grumble all the time? How do you feel pagkasama mo yung isang tao na lahat kinocomplain niya, lahat kinikriticize niya, lahat uh, grumbling siya? Okay? Um, very toxic kasama, di ba? Mahirap kasama, di ba? So, my question to us today, no? next slide, uh, my question to us today, are you a grumbler? No? Or are you a person who is grateful? So you ask yourself this no, uh, this morning. Are you a grumbler? Or are you a person who is grateful? In verse 4 to 5, next slide, it says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Behold, I am about to rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather a day's portion every day. Next slide. And I may test that, that I may test them whether they will walk in my law or not. Next. On the sixth day, when they prepare what they bring in, it will be twice as much as they gather daily. Now, if you look at verse four to in if you look at verse four to six, no, how did God respond to the grumbling of his people? Kung ako si God, you know, one or two things lang yan, eh. The first, patayin ko kaya lahat to para tapos na. Diba? God siya eh. Pwede niyang patayin lahat yan. He could have killed the two million. Ha? Complain kayo ha. 
Okay? But he did the opposite. He, uh, he showed kindness and understanding dun sa mga Israelites. Bakit kaya? I think, you know, uh, si God, He's coming from, in this uh, chapter, He's coming from a parental uh, viewpoint. You know, he, he understands that these Israelites were once slaves and now they are free. Diba? So, they're still learning what is freedom. They're still learning how to live. So God wants to give them chance upon chance. God wants them to mature. So God is teaching them. Okay? Just like when you raise a newborn baby. Diba? Ang newborn baby, it usually cries. And when it cries, you have to feed it. When it cries, you have to change the diaper. Diba? Hindi man pwede pag lumabas yung bata, umiiyak siya o bahala ka. No? Matuto ka gumawa ng gatas mo. No? Matuto ka magpalit ng diaper. Of course, you have to um, teach it. You have to take care of the baby until it grows up to a sense na kaya na niya. Then, yan. Di ba? Bahala ka na sa buhay mo. Diba? Yan yung gusto ng lahat ng parent, no? Nung anak nila maging independent. Di ba? Lahat ng anak nila maging independent. So in short, this was God's way of discipling the Israelites. You see, God's response to their grumbling is, or was, I will provide you bread every day to fill your physical hunger. But God also said in uh, verse 4 to 6, I will test you. You see, uh, God tests us not to bring us down. It is to help us to mature and to grow uh, in our character. Okay? So, uh, God wanted to teach them that for six days you will work, but on the seventh day, you shall rest. So on the sixth day, they were commanded to gather for two days worth of food. And don't worry, it will not melt, nor will it be full of worms. God is in control. Okay, let's look at verse 6 to 8. Um, so Moses and Aaron said to all the people of Israel, At the evening, you shall know that it was the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Verse 7, And in the morning you shall see the glory of the Lord, because He has heard your grumbling against the Lord. For what are we that you grumble against us? Verse 8, And Moses said, When the Lord gives you in the evening meat to eat, and in the morning bread to the full, because the Lord has heard your grumbling, that you grumble against Him, what are we? Your grumbling is not against us, but against the Lord. So Moses is reminding uh, his people, remember who saved you. No, stop grumbling. It was the Lord who saved you. The Lord has heard your grumbling, and you will see his glory in the morning. He will provide meat and bread for you every day. Can you please stop grumbling against the Lord? Okay? So, why should we not grumble? No? Why should we not grumble? What does the Bible say? Let's look at Philippians 2, no? 14 to 15. Sabi niya, do all things without grumbling or disputing. And next verse, wala, walang 15, ayan. That you may be blameless and innocent children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation among whom you shine as lights in the world. So, uh, Paul is saying here, do all things without grumbling. This is a command. We must stop grumbling about life and our circumstances. Why? So that we can shine in the light. We can shine as lights in the world. The command here of Paul is, we as Christians, we have to be different. We must be grumble-free in everything we do. Now, what does Paul mean in all things? He is referring in all things, we have to learn to give thanks. Whether, you know, it's a bad thing that happens, whether the BIR comes and audits your company, you know, whether you know, your business is not doing well, whether your children are not obeying you, whether you have a conflict with your wife, we have to learn to be grateful. Grumbling, I think, 
has become a way of life for most of us. And do you know why a lot of non-Christians do not, uh, are not attracted to the Christian life? Do you know why? Because they don't see any difference in our life from theirs. Again, a lot of non-Christians are not attracted to the Christian life because when they look at Christians, there's really not a lot of difference. Maybe the difference is, you know, we go to church. Sometimes. Because in the business place, we also do the same things. In the workplace, when we're employee, we also do the same things. So what is the difference of our life with people who are not believers of Jesus Christ? Is there any difference? No? And when I say this, I say this with all humility. I also look at my life, no? May difference ba talaga? Di ba? Pang minsan pareho lang eh. Di ba? Palaykain. Di ba? Birthday. You no? Know? Ay, Adrian ha? Napakain ka na naman mamaya. Okay. <clears throat> di ba? So, is there really any difference? Or not? So I hope we think about that, no? We must be different and we can start by making it a lifestyle. Not to grumble, but to be grateful. Verse 9, Then Moses said to Aaron, Say to the whole congregation of the people of Israel, Come near before the Lord, for he has heard your grumbling. Verse 10, And as soon as Aaron spoke to the whole congregation of the people of Israel, they looked toward the wilderness, and behold, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. J.I. Packer, no, he said this, he said, what we all need to realize is that God's glory is constant. No, God's glory is constant. It means God's glory is there. Hindi siya nawawala. Okay? And as we journey through life, we will see it manifest here and there. No, God's glory is going to manifest. It's got, you can see it. No? And in this person or that forest, in a story of love or heroism, fiction or non-fiction, or our own personal lives, but it all goes back to God in the end. So, and he says, and the only way to God is through His Son, Jesus Christ. We will find the very source of all beauty in Him, in God, in heaven, if we are in Christ. Nothing will be lost to us. All those things that faded in life, we will find again in Him. You know, everything goes back to God. No, we have to learn and teach ourselves again that everything is about God. No, um, sometimes we lose focus because we tend to uh, lose the um, yung perspective in life. It becomes about us. It's not about us. It's about God. It's about glorifying God. No, it's about um, seeing God's um, presence. No, fix your eyes you know, on Jesus. Okay? So, as God provides for Israel's need with bread, no, um, He's also showing them that, hey, Israelites, you need me. Okay? That is why God is manifesting Himself in the glory of the cloud to teach them that, you know, uh, God wants to teach them that He is Lord and He will provide for all your needs. Okay? Verse 11, And the Lord said to Moses, I have heard the grumbling of the people of Israel. Say to them, At twilight you shall eat meat, and in the morning you shall be filled with bread. Then you shall know that I am the Lord your God. You see, God was teaching them, I am the God that listens. So stop grumbling. Know that I am the Lord your God, and I will provide for all your needs. So, this is next. This will, is a principle I want us to you know remember. God provides for what we need and not what we want. Again, God provides for what we need and not what we want. So let's keep this in mind. No, God knows 
what we need in our life. And when we keep uh, this in mind, it will help us to be more grateful. No? So, kung anong meron ka, it will mean the Lord knows that is what you need. Okay? So, if the Lord doesn't give you what you're asking for, then the Lord knows that's not something you need today. Okay? So, in verse, 20, in verse 13, In the evening, quail came up and covered the camp. And in the morning, dew lay around the camp. So God promised meat in the evening. No? Sino mahilig sa meat dito? Ayan. Ah, lahat kayo hindi mahilig sa meat. Ah, okay lang. Okay, okay lang. Ako mahilig ako sa meat. Okay. Actually, inaantay ko pa yung steak ko. Ay, uh, Uncle William, yung steak ko. Okay? So, Joke lang, joke lang, Uncle. No pressure, Uncle William, no pressure. Okay? In the evening, quail, no? Quail came up. So, ano ba itsura ng quail? No? When I asked my Bible study group, ano yung quail? Sabi na, ah, yeah, quick, quick. No? And then, hindi siya quick, quick. No? So, I did some research. Ganito pala yung quail. No? Para siyang maliit na chick. No? Maliit na manok. Okay? So, ito yung binigay ni Lord sa mga tao na kainin nila. Yung ganyan, quail. Okay? Sabi nila ang quail, ah, ano, I did some Google. Okay? They are easy to keep in captivity. They are easy to cook. They have tender and flavorful flesh. Ah? Okay? Their taste is similar to chicken. And even their small tender bones can be eaten. Diba? So, can you imagine, no? Siguro mga Israelites, mga Chinese. Diba? Kinain lahat yan, di ba? Pati balahibo ko, <laughs> kainin. No? Mga Chinese, di ba? Lahat kinakain, eh, di ba? So, um, totoo, no? Mga Chinese, ibang klase mga Chinese, iba talaga. No? Pag pumunta sa Ong Pin, lahat ng laman loob. Iniisaw namin yan. Di ba? Iba, iba. Okay? So, itong quail, ito yung binigay ni God. No? Sige, pumain kayo ng quail. Okay? Now, sa so verse 14 naman, and when the Jew had gone up, there was on the face of the wilderness a fine flake-like thing, fine as frost on the ground. When the people of Israel saw it, they said to one another, no, What is it? No, ano kaya to? For they did not know what it was. And Moses said to them, It is the bread that the Lord has given you to eat. So actually, yung what is it no word in the Hebrew, that is the mana, no, mana. Yung, yung binigay ni Lord sa kanila. Mana was given uh, to them. Okay? Now, what does mana taste like? In Exodus 16.31, it says, uh, it was like a coriander seed. It's white, and the taste of it was like wafers made with honey. Okay? So, it must have tasted very good, and of course, it was from God. But ang problema ito, look at, uh, verse 35, no? it says, The people of Israel ate the manna for ilan years? 40 years. Diba? Kahit naman ako, 40 years. Magko-complain na ako. Diba? Sino sa inyo, kung anong kinain mo nung lunch, ay mo kainin nung dinner. Is there anyone? Oh, Joe was, no? Ako. Okay, anak ko yan eh. Ako din. Maarte nga ako. Kaya minsan nagagalit talaga asawa ko. Uh, arte ko daw. No, ko ano yung ulam sa lunch, hindi ko nakakain sa dinner. Maarte ako eh. No? So, ang hirap ko pa kainin. Okay? Pero, di ba, e, ikaw, 40 years mo kakainin yung mana, yung bread. Magagalit ka ba o hindi? Di ba? Sino hindi magagalit? Wala, lahat kayo magagalit. Hindi, totoo. Sino, alam ko, sino dito hindi magagalit? Si Peggy, si hindi magagalit. No? Si Auntie Peggy, ha? conductress ko yan sa car dati. Mabait talaga ako. Ha? Mabait ako. Uh, Peggy, siya mabait ako. Diba? Okay. Pero sobrang bait din ni Auntie Peggy. Hindi yan magko-complain feeling ko. Okay? So meron naman siguro out of the 2 million, hindi magko-complain. Pero 99% ng tao magko-complain. Tinapay na laman. Diba? 40 years, tinapay. Diba? So, kaya galit na galit na yung mga tao. Okay? Now, in verse 16 to uh, 18, sabi dit, This is what the Lord has commanded. Gather of it, each one of you, as much as he can eat. You shall each take an omer. 
Na ano ba yung omer? Okay? How how much is an omer? Actually, an omer is around 1.5 kilograms. Okay? So, di ba? Can you imagine that? 1.5 kilograms ang kukunin ng isang tao. Can you imagine, no? If uh, for 365 days, okay, and for 40 years, okay, uh, yun yung pinoprovide ni God. So each person, God provides around 22,000 kilograms of bread for each person. Diba? God is amazing. Diba? He can provide for all our needs. And God provided 22,000 kilograms of bread for each person. Okay? For, uh, you know, for that 40 years. And if you multiply that, of course, with 2 million people, it's amazing. Okay? This means that God is really all-powerful and He is really uh, so great. Okay? Now, therefore, okay, God could provide for, actually, if you count it for the whole world, no? for one week, kayang kaya na yan. Okay? Now, verse 19, let's jump to verse 19. Kabi niya, and Moses said to them, Let no one leave any of it over till the morning. But they did not listen to Moses. Diba? Ganun naman talaga tayo, diba? We don't like to listen. Kung sinabi ni Lord, ito gagawin mo yung kabila. Ano? Kasi tao lang tayo. Okay? Some left part of it till the morning, and it bred worms and stank. And Moses was angry with them. Morning by morning they gathered it, each as much as he could eat. But when the sun grew hot, it melted. Now, what was God teaching them? Now, what was God teaching them uh, from this point? He's teaching them, uh, do not hoard. Don't hoard. It mean, um, instead, we have to trust in God's provision day by day. Do you go, uh, alam ko yung mga iba dito, no? Do you go and eat sa mga eat all you can? Sino kumakain sa eat all you can? Diba? Kumakain kayo? Diba? Paano? How do you? Diba? Sino? Ah, ito. Tempo ka. Sino kumukuha lang tempo ka? No. Sampo. Pumipila. Sampo kayo. Nakapila. Okay. Nagaantay. Dumating yung basket. Anong ginagawa ng tao? Hindi siya kumukuha lang isa, dalawa. Kinukuha niya yung buong basket. Diba? Tapos yung nine... No, wala. Nga nga. No? That's hoarding. Di ba? Of course, iniisip ng iba. Baka sa buong pamilya ko to. Di ba? Eh kaya lang pagdating mo, lahat kayo tigi isang basket wala. Di ba? Ganun yung Chinese. Kuha lang kuha. Oh, di chao. Oh, di chao. Oh. Yung alak mo, tama na ma. Tama na. Pusok na. Di, di ko chao. Di. Kaya naging ganito ako. Totoo yan. Ayoko naman talaga kumain eh. Pero pinipilit ako. No? Talaga yung mga mothers, no? Di ba? Kaya si Adrian, ganun din eh. No? Naintindihan kita, Adrian. No? Pinilit lang tayo, di ba? Pinilit lang kami. Ayaw talaga namin. Gusto namin isa-isa lang. Hindi, kutsa o. Kaya mo yan. Kain lang. Okay? But you know, God is teaching us, do not hoard. Do not get what you don't need. Get what you only need. Di ba? Get what you only need. Trust in God's provision because He knows our needs. My point no, in today's message is um, don't grumble. No? Instead, be grateful because we have a God that provides for all our needs. No, don't grumble. Uh, actually, don't grumble. Don't compare. Once you compare with others, you will grumble. Okay, don't look at others. Kasi when you look at others, magko-complain ka talaga. Di ba? Isipin mo, bakit ganyan? Eh, hindi mo hawak yan. Kung ano lang gusto ni Lord ibigay sa'yo, yan na yan. Di ba? Sometimes, people like to ask our family this question. Do you know what's the question they ask us? Guess. Ayon nyo ng babae, anak? They like to ask us, Ay- ayaw ba namin ng babae na anak? Gusto ko nga talaga sagutin eh. Kami ba nagdi-decide niyan? Di ba? Kung babae, eh lalaki binigay lahat. For they like to, oh, sige, do we eh, oh. Di ba? Kaya ngayon pag sige, oh sige, sagutin mo yung tuition niya from ano ah, hanggang, uh, you know, but, you know, 
kami, we can complain. No, we can, you know, say, Lord, Lord, bakit lahat lalaki? Di ba? Wala bang babae dyan. Di ba? Ang lalaki ng lalaki. Di ba? So, minsan nga, say ko kay at si Loris, isa pa kaya? No? Uh, joke lang. <laughs> okay? Hindi na rin natutuwa yung mga ibang, actually, yung mga ibang ninong ko, sinasabi sa akin, tama na. Hindi na daw ako nakakatawa. Okay? Kasi sabi niya, apat na yan, tama na. So, oh, grabe ka naman. Di ba? Wala ka naman ambag dito. Hindi, joke lang. Okay. Di ba? Pero pang, di ba? Pero kami din, no? We, we realize, no? We're thankful. Four boys is four boys. We thank the Lord for that. We don't complain. Okay? Kung anong binigay ni Lord, tanggap namin yan. Di ba? Kasi, ganun naman dapat talaga eh. We, we um, only accept kung anong binigay ni Lord. Di ba? If the Lord gives you four girls, hindi dapat masaya ka, four girls. No? Si Brother Pando, Uh, he always comes with me, di ba? Si Aya Pando. Tatlong girls niya, di ba? So, siya naman nagtatakay. Di ba? Aya Pando, no? Pang-apat. Girl ulit. <laughs> okay? So, don't grumble. Okay? Don't grumble, di ba? I mean, four girls is four girls. Okay din naman girls, eh. Di ba? Sabi nga nila, mas okay yung girls, di ba? Oh. Pero okay din yung boys, di ba? Wala masyado ambag sa bahay. Pero okay lang. Okay? <laughs> Ba, totoo naman, mas may ambag ang babae, di ba? Mga lalaki, kain-kain lang yan. Okay? So, don't, my, our point today, don't grumble, instead, be grateful. Because we have a God that provides for all our needs. You know? And God also wanted to teach us that more than the physical needs or the physical food that we need is actually the spiritual food. Okay? So, Again, uh, to end, next slide, to end, okay. Uh, what can we do today? Some application. No? Number one, you have to stop grumbling. You have to change your mindset. If you think you're a person who likes to complain, then you ask the Lord, Lord, help me to change. Help me to stop grumbling. Help me to stop grumbling. Help me to stop complaining about the small little things that comes our way. Okay. Stop complaining about your wife. Di ba? Stop complaining about your husband, about your children, about your in-laws, di ba? your outlaws. Okay? Stop, stop it. Okay? Second, stop hoarding. Okay? Nasabi ko na yan. Don't get what you don't need. Okay? Hindi rin maganda yan. Ayaw ni Lord yan. Gusto ni Lord kung ano lang kailangan mo. Okay? Next, start being grateful in all things. We have to start uh, to give thanks for what God has given us and stop looking at what others have. Diba? Kasi, alam mo, if you, if, as you grow older, no, you realize each person has their own problems. Each person has their own journey in life. Each person has their own struggles. Behind the smile, there is always pain. Behind the smile that we show to the world, there's always pain in our hearts. No? So let's not judge people. Let's not uh, be quick to um, you know, say things about others because we don't know what they are going through. In the same way sa life natin, Let's start to be more grateful to the Lord for what, we, what He has provided for us every day. And lastly, start reading God's Word daily, not weekly. So this is my challenge to all of us. If you want to um, stop grumbling and being more grateful, it starts really from our hearts. It starts from having a daily walk with the Lord. There's no secret about it. You know, when I was... Uh, growing up, I like to ask pastors, no? Uh, paano ba? Paano ba? Paano ba? Um, paano ba maging isang faithful, no? Na pastor. Isa lang palagi sagot nila sa akin. Isa lang. Sabi niya, actually, there's no secret. No? But it's about reading God's Word every day. Sabi niya, yun lang yun. You know? Kasi minsan, kami mga pastor, gusto namin yung isang ganyan. Ano na kami Okay? Pero sabi niya, hindi. Walang secret yan. It's every day for the rest of your life. You have to feed on God's Word. 
so that you know um, we can become faithful and para ma protect tayo sa mga temptations in this world so to end uh, don't grumble be grateful for god is our provider god bless everyone In God's loving kindness, we receive His faithful provisions, no matter how undeserving we are. And so, church, let's stop grumbling and let us be grateful. And may we be channels of blessings and kindness to everyone. Shall we sing glory to glory and let us all stand as we sing our response song. No.
please take our seat. Thank you, um, thanks God, no, for all His provision that is always enough, no. Minsan madalas tayong magcompare, de ba? Bat and dami sa kanya, konti sa akin. And yet, in God's sight, in the way He provides, everybody who collects will have enough. Kahit konti enough, pag sobra enough pa rin, hindi pa rin. So stop comparing, no. Sabi nga ni Pastor Bill John, no? be grateful. Because uh, it is always a choice that we can make to resolve to do everything in thankfulness and gratefulness for all God's provision. And sabi nga, for God will provide for all our needs. Pag hindi tayo naniniwala, parang diskompiado tayo kay Lord. No? Parang limited lang yan. Pang Monday lang kasi yung help ng dating ni Lord. Uh, so, kailangan kong mag-ipon per Tuesday, wala na darating. Ganun pa ang Diyos, hindi, no? Every day He provides, every day yung blessing niya enough. And siguro naman, kaya naman natin mag-share ng blessing para maramdaman naman ng iba na buhay ang Diyos, no? Na patuloy dumadaloy. Uh, hindi lang sa mga biyayang natatanggap, kundi sa pamamagitan ng mga kapwa mananampalataya tulad natin. Yung provision niya kayang ipaabot din do sa ibang nangangailangan. No? Uh, nais ko rin na uh, sobrang ako natutuwa today. No? dami natin. No? And I would like to greet some of our friends who come from Manila. And uh, especially from UECP. Hindi ko na masasabi yung mga pangalan nyo. Uh, pero thank you for coming. We also thank uh, si Pastor Will Jot at family niya. To, to come and join us in worship. Our friends from San Pablo who join us today uh, in, in worship too. Um, so can we ask everyone to stand as we stop grumbling and stop hoarding and being grateful in all the things, no? Let's sing.
Presence of Worship, you may now uh, take your seat and reflect upon the goodness of God in a moment of silence as we depart from this place. But before we depart, make time to have fellowship with one another, greet one another with love and kindness. God bless everyone. Yeah.